Arizona is experiencing pushback after legalizing recreational cannabis use, and the NBA has announced they will not be drug testing players for THC for the upcoming season. This is Loa Very Hill keeping you up to date with the latest in cannabis news. Recreational cannabis use was legalized in Arizona just last month. But even though the state has said okay to adult use cannabis, several cities have come forward to express their desire to opt out. Two sizable East Valley cities, Chandler and Mesa, have come forward to say that they don't want recreational sales. So both city councils have voted to prohibit recreational establishments in their jurisdictions. The ordinance the city councils will vote on will prohibit any recreational retail businesses that are not operating as a dual licensee, and it will also prevent opening testing facilities. The city of Gilbert, also in Arizona, passed a similar ordinance back in October. Next in news, the House of Representatives will vote on a bill that will allow scientists to study dispensary quality cannabis. If you aren't aware, scientists are extremely limited in the cannabis products they're allowed to study. If cannabis is going to be legalized, scientists must be able to properly research their products to produce adequate results. But with the extreme limitations, it's a wonder that they're even able to do it in the first place. Cannabis grown for research purposes is slim pickings. Right now, scientists are limited to studying low-quality products grown by an even more limited list of cultivators. Further, the DEA hasn't been helping matters. In fact, they might be making things worse. The DEA has thwarted research by refusing to accept any additional cannabis manufacturers. The agency has undergone several lawsuits filed by scientists, patients, and activists over the matter. The fact that it's now being addressed by Congress is definitely a step in the right direction. And lastly, the NBA has announced they will not be testing players for THC for the upcoming season. This is an extension of the drug testing policy from last year. But cannabis will still remain on the list of banned substances. The league has decided to forego testing for THC due to COVID and the risk of unnecessary exposure. But it's fully expected that the NBA will eventually do away with THC testing and possibly even exempt players who use it medically. This is great news for NBA players who choose to use cannabis to recover from the sport. So go ahead and like this video and give us a follow at Veriheel to stay up to date with the latest in cannabis news. Thanks for watching.